Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be reviewing multiplying a four digit by one digit number using the standard algorithm that we've been practicing in class. So this is our four digit number, 8721, and five is our one digit number. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right in about how we use the standard algorithm. One thing I always start with in class is making sure that I put some lines down. And these lines just help me keep track and help students keep track of place values because sometimes as we're doing multiplication, we begin to carry over um, into different place values. And so these lines just help make sure that we are in the correct place value as we multiply. When we multiply, um, it we always start like like we do with addition. We always start multiplying by the smallest place value. And so when we're multiplying 8,721, we're going to start by multiplying five by all the digits in this number. And like addition, we start with the smallest place value. So we're going to multiply the five by the ones place in 8,721 and we're going to go ascending place values. So the tens, the hundreds, and then the thousands. So let's uh, jump ahead. I'm going to scoot my piece of paper up. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply five times one. And I'm going to use this extra space to the side to uh, help with my multiplication. I am left-handed, so I may cover up some of the problems as I solve it, but I'll make sure to move my hand out and so you can see the work I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the side and we're going to multiply 5 times 1. Now in class we've been doing uh, a lot of practice uh, with math facts and this is where it comes in handy. So 5 times 1 equals 5. Now this 5 is going to go into our 1's place. It's just plain old boring 5. The next thing we do is we're going to multiply this 5 times 2. 5 times 2 equals 10. Now this isn't 5 times 2. This 2 is in the tens place. So this is really 5 times 20. And when we do 5 times 20, we're doing the same thing. 5, um, we used to have 5 times 2, 5 times 2. And our little trick we've been talking about in class is that if we have zeros at the end, of our numbers, we're going to add them back in. We can also count by 5s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And so in 100, we have a 0 in the tens place right here. So I'm going to put my 0 in the tens place. But we also have another number, 1. This 1 is in the hundreds place. Now we can't put our 1 that represents 100 in the tens place. So we have to carry that over into the hundreds place, which is why I started to do these lines at the very beginning to help make sure I'm keeping it all correct. So I'm going to put this 1 up here, and I'm going to continue to multiply. We multiply our 5 by our next biggest place value, which is in the hundreds place. So we multiply 5 times 7, and that gives us 35. But kind of like with our 2 in the tens place, this 7 doesn't just not is its normal 7. It represents 7 one hundredths, or 7 hundred. So this is really multiplying 5 times 700. 
And so we keep that 35, and since there are two zeros at the end in 700, we have two zeros at the end. Now, we have a 5 in the hundreds place. And so I'm not going to put 5 straight away here, because I have to add this extra 100 that we have when we multiplied 5 times 20. So I'm going to come over here and add the 5 plus 1, which would give us 6. 500 plus 100 gives us 600. And now what we do last is we multiply the 8 times the 5. So I'm going to come over here and multiply 8 times 5. And 8 times 5 gives us 40. But like with our previous, our hundreds and our tens place, this 8 over here isn't 8, it's 8 thousands. We have 8 one thousands. So really this is multiplying 8 times, or 5 times 1,000, and 8 times, 8,000 times 5. So we keep that 40 just the same, but we add those three zeros in at the end. One, two, three. Now we have 40,000. Now, when we came over here, and I want to go back and kind of talk about something that I forgot to do, is we have this 3 in the thousands place when we come over here. So we need to make sure that this 3 in the thousands place was carried over. I forgot to do that earlier. So we had to carry over that 3. And now we have a 0 in the thousands place here at 40,000, but we have to add that 0 to that 3 we carried over, the 3, uh, 3,500, which is right here, and so that's a 3. And now we have to account for this 4 here. This is 4 in the 10,000s place, or 40,000. Now right now, I'm going to draw another line to help me represent my place value. And we carried over this 4 from this 40,000. And now I don't have any other numbers here, so I'm going to just drop this 4 all the way down. So 8,721 times 5 gives us 43,605. I hope that helps clarify multiplying four-digit by one-digit numbers using the standard algorithm.